They were singing that song, there's not been one time that he's been able to make it. Not one time, it's zero that he's come by and helped me walk, helped me through this walkway of life, picked me up and brought me to the great valley. He's brought me across the highest mountain of Germany, and it's all been through him. So what we do here tonight, let's make sure we're just obedient. Amen. To the Lord tonight, it'll help somebody. It'll make that spirit that I've already been made feel just a little bit freer. Then the whole house will be free. You believe God can do that? I can. He can set this whole house free tonight. So tonight it depends upon me and you. So if you've got something you need to do tonight, do it. I say this, do it quick. The devil talk you out of that. Yeah. 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 Oh, I'm a traveler. Times it does get hard and 
Bless you, Lord. I'm just going to follow the Lord. If you would, turn your Bibles to Songs of Solomon, chapter 2. Bless you, Lord. Bless you, Lord. Verse 15. Bless you, Lord. Bless you, Lord. Bless you, Lord. Bless you, Chris. Just take your time, brother. Bless you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Bless 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 you, Verse 15. God bless you, Lord. Says, Take us the foxes, the little foxes, that's full of vines. For our vines have clear grapes. That's how we feel like reading. Use them all. Says, Hey, Marty, I thought about that over and over and over. I, I studied all that long, kids, and wife went to bed and began to study. Went to church this morning, didn't hear a thing the Sunday school teacher said. Began to study and did on and on and on. Tried to take a nap, went out home, couldn't nap. Began to study some more. Uh, I sat there and thought about it and thought about it. I said, Lord, what do you have me to do? Uh, he told me that uh, don't let the uh, fox hit your walk with Jesus. I thought about things. I know a lot of things about foxes, but I want to uh, let the foxes represent the devil. I said, Lord, I begin to read about it, begin to read about it. Uh, the vines and begin to read about the foxes. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, probably know, but I begin to read about the foxes and why I said consider the little foxes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we begin to read about the foxes and how that the big foxes they can reach up and get the grapes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they get what they want, but it's said the little, little foxes. Yeah, right. uh, I believe that the vine at the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they yeah. said it would tear the whole plant down. Yeah. And I yeah. said they yeah. would talk yeah. about that and talk about that.
the world you tell these people is. Actually, yeah. you want me to tell you what? How yeah. each and every one of us can get yeah. our lives hindered. How yeah. each and every yeah. one of yeah. us has got a distraction. How yeah. yeah. in our lives? Yeah. How that he can sneak right in? Yeah. How let me tell you what he'll do tomorrow. How you'll get out there, you've got to start your car, and your car won't start. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what you'll do. I'll tell you what else he'll do. He'll do even more. How you gonna find your battery charger? How the plug will be messed up? Yeah. How you gonna tell you that? How you go over to the neighbors? Yeah. How you say I need a pump? How the neighbor won't even have a pump? Yeah. How that's what the devil will do? Yeah. How he will tear you down, church? Bless you, how but there's one. How that will uplift you? Bless you, Lord. That will put you a hedge of protection around you. Yeah. Oh, just like Job. Come on. Yeah. Oh, even know Job. I went through all that he did. Yeah. I lost everything. Yeah. You know what? I ain't still. I didn't let it hinder. Yeah. I is walk with God. Right. Oh, you know what? God let him hit. God let oh, the old devil sneak in on him. But he doesn't do. How oh, Job's on a well-known servant. Yeah. How he looks for me. He loves me. Yeah. How he calls on me every day. How I'm going to make the vibes. How I can't shut up. I was trying to shut up. How I begin to think about the vibes. How I begin to think about the great vibes. And how that they grow together. And how that they grow better. I begin to look about them. I begin to study out the vibes. I begin to wonder how what hinders them. How what helps them. How you know what it said helps a companion, a helper. Oh, you know what I begin to think about? Oh, the church. Oh, you know what? We had a little boy's birthday yesterday. Oh, if it wasn't for the church family, oh, there wouldn't have barely been anybody there. And I thought about the companion. How that you have a church. How that, how that we got to help each other. How we got to pray for each other. How we got to they just get down. How we say help them. Oh, yeah, because the devil. How it gets in there. How you know a lot of times we get weak. How you know what can help us? A companion. How somebody there to help us? A church member praying for us. A church member calling about us. I know. Oh, we all have problems. Hey, God lays it on your heart. Call them. I don't hey, care how stupid it seems. I want my father you. I want the companion. I'm yeah. thankful for the church. I'm yeah. the Amen. companion that I have in the church. Yeah. I'm glad that I have people praying for me. Amen. I sit there and thought about old uh, uh, Nick Maples. We all know what's going on with them. Amen. I thought I should have said, thank God for good people. Amen. I said, thank God. Oh, the prayers have been going up. Oh, the food and stuff has been brought about. Oh, that's God's love. Yeah. Oh, that's what they want to see. Yeah. Oh, but you know what that old fox wants to see? Oh, he wants us to see not caring about each other. Yeah. He wants to see you hate each other. Yeah. Oh, he wants to see you fall apart. Yeah. Oh, you know what he wants to do? He wants to see you use him. Yeah. Oh, but how do we keep it together? we got to pray for each other. Yeah. we got to have a companion. Yeah. Oh, we got to get down for each other. Yeah. Oh, help each other. Oh. Uh, you know what? A lot of problems will come up here. Uh, they'll say they got it fixed up. Uh, but 50% of us take half of it back with us. Right. Uh, they didn't yeah. know it was fixed up that way. Yeah. Uh, but you know what? Uh, if you got somebody praying for you, uh, he'll burn you right back down. Yeah. You have to come and bring it. Yeah. 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 How yeah. 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 There's so much that you can preach on this about the vines, about the foxes and everything. In this life, we're hindered too much. We are. Why are churches few in number? Why are there no pastors anyway? Why is there people not preaching anywhere? Because we've let the devil hinder. We've let the devil get in there and us. We've let the devil talk us out of what we're supposed to be doing. Oh, that's what he does. Come on, man. Out. distraction. Yeah, come on. Church, yeah. oh, he wants you few in number. On, oh, he didn't want Come you here tonight. Oh, but our Lord and Savior, oh, he wanted us here tonight. Yeah. Oh, you know what? He sent a partner for you here tonight. Yeah. Oh, he let that old car not have a flat. Oh, he let that old car have gas. He let that old car have everything. Yeah. Oh, just to make it here. Yeah. Oh, I ain't going to tell you that old devil ain't going to stretch you when he gets out there. Yeah. Oh, I ain't going to tell you, tell you your car ain't a rod knocking in as soon as you get out there. Oh, but he will. He will bother you. Amen. First thing in the morning, he's going to bother you. Amen. 
I used to hate Mondays. I'll go ahead and tell you this little story because God told me to. I'll tell you what I hate Mondays. I do. I can't stand Mondays. We used to work for Dad and stuff all the time. Dad said, we might as well not even work on Mondays because Mondays are just horrible. I one day I was sitting in church and I was sitting on the front row and I, I was letting it hinder my service. I was letting it bother me. I sit there on the front row and I said, God, I said, I hate Mondays. I can't stand Mondays. The next thing you know, they started singing. Glory, glory, glory. I begin to sing. But you know what happened to me on a Monday? God cut by my way. God saved my soul on a Monday. Yeah, what show me Mondays ain't so bad. Yeah. I, I saved you. I'm from a dying hell. Yeah. I'm from a rock place. Yeah. I'm from a place that is expanding its borders yeah. each and every day. Yeah. 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 I hell has fallen. I let me escape that morning. Yeah. I ain't put a hand of protection. Yeah. I in my own heart. Yeah. On a Monday night. Yeah. I'm my mother's mother lost poor. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. Well, I don't hate Mondays. I still hate it because of work. Yeah. Uh, but he gave me something to love about money. Yeah. He did. Yeah. Don't let the devil hinder you. Yeah. Don't let him hinder your service, church. Yeah. Don't let him hinder your walk with Jesus. Hey, man. He wants to. Yeah. Look at your world now. Yeah. Look at this life out here. Yeah. Yeah. Everything that's going on. You know what's happened? The old devil snuck in. Yes. He's had a distraction. Yes. He feels something about you. I go, I can't shut up. I'm like, 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 I'm
walk with him. Yeah. I'm telling you, he's always there. Yeah. You know, he would begin to sink in the water, what he had to do. He took his eyes off of him. Yeah. Distraction caught his eyes. But you know what? He began to sink. Lord yeah. save me. Yeah. Hell, you know what he did? He was right there, folks. Yeah. I put him around your vineyard. Yeah. Put him in your life. I let him build around your life. I didn't see how much easier it is. I didn't see how much help you get. Yes. Hey, Mom and Daddy can only help you so far. Hey, you know what Mom and Daddy can't help you with? Hey, this old crazy mind. I mean, you know who can? I have the God Almighty. Yes. Hey, he knows the number of the hairs of your head. Yes. Hey, he can help you through anything, folks. Yes. Oh, why not build a hedge around you? Why not walk yes. yourself up with God? Yes. Why not? Saying you ain't gonna have no foxes come in your life. I'm not saying once you get born again, he ain't gonna bother you. Right? Because he does. Hey, you know what? What people say? Hey, he's gonna bother you even more. Because right? he knows who you're working for. Right? But you know what? Hey, if you ain't been bothered in a while, hey, you might wanna check up. Hey, you know why? Because you ain't causing him no problem. Hey, you ain't causing nothing. You let something hinder your life. Work for God. Don't let the devil hinder you. Don't let him nibble at you. The little nibbles will bother you. The little nibbles will tear you up. The little nibbles will get you down. The little nibbles will get you out of church. I will get mom out of church. I will get brother out of church. Oh, we don't want that. Why? Because the world's the shape it is today. I don't let it hinder your service, church. I want you to hear me. I don't let it hinder your service. What's it going to do? It's going to let the little foxes in. Yeah. How when the little foxes get in, how them biggins can do some real big damage if yeah. they want to. How the Bible tells me about Samson. How he tied them together. How he sit over there and tore up everything. Yeah. I don't think they can't tear it up too. Yeah. How the biggins and the little ones. We don't get sick of the little ones. We ain't worried about what they were more powerful. Yeah. That little one keep nibbling, keep nibbling, yeah. man. For too long, you'll be out. Hey, you'll be out of church. Hey. Why? Because you in the household, you and your wife will be arguing. Great. You and your Lord. family will be arguing. Great. You and your mom and daddy will be arguing. Great. That's what he wants. Yeah. He Amen. wants to get in between. Yeah. He wants to get in between families. Amen. He wants to get in the church family. Yeah. I guarantee you, he's got one of them bad right here tonight. Too scared to say it. He didn't put it on the heart for no reason. Oh, he didn't keep me up all night. On, bro. Yeah. I, I don't care. You know how easy it is to say I'm sorry? Yeah. Hey, it's easy. That's what God hey, wants you to do. Oh, on, you know what you Peter Lord. said? Hey, he said, Peter, do you love me? Yeah. Hey, he said, Lord, you know I do. <laughs> hey, he said, go feed the lambs. Yeah. Oh, Peter, do you love me? He said, yeah, Lord, you know I do. He said, go feed my sheep. Yeah. Well, how hard Bless is it to tell them? Yeah. I'm sorry. I love you. Oh, Lord, forgive me. Oh, we fail each and every day. Oh, none of you are better than none of you. Oh, I know you none of us no quarterback. Oh, we ain't no high end no player. Oh, I'll tell you what, we're all the same. Yes, sir. I'll tell you what, we all fail. Yeah. Hey, your pastor fails just as much as you do. Yeah. Hey, your deacons fail just as much Amen. as you do. Amen. Don't let it hinder your service. Amen. 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 Yeah. It let something Amen. just stir you up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know plenty of people just got plumb out of church. Yeah. I know yeah. pastors and preachers yes. just fully yeah. quit. Yeah. We got yeah. drinking, yeah. whore hopping, everything yeah. under the sun. We have done it all. Yeah. Uh, but you know what? Uh, we can't look down on them. No. Uh, we got to love them. Yeah. Yeah. We can't let them hinder them. We got to tell them, hey, I love you. Get yeah. back to church. Yeah. I don't care if you can't stand anymore. Uh, I know your testimony. Yeah. I've heard it. Yeah. Uh, we can we still hear it out there. Oh, we can still hear it out here. Oh, oh, my church. Oh, they need your testimony. Oh, oh they need to hear about your testimony. Yeah, How many man. times have people got saved? Oh, because of someone else's testimony. Yeah, yeah. Don't let it in your service, church. Oh, I'm just telling you to move. Don't stop just because I preach. I don't. We still got time to pray. Yeah, oh, we got to come here. Don't let it in your service. Amen. Don't let it stop you. That's all I've been let do. Bless you, boy. Bless you, boy.
appreciate the message. Yes. 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 I can honestly say, I've seen these little foxes come. Yes. Uh, boy, they're pretty, they're cute. Yeah. Yes. 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 They ain't no mind. That's it. The next thing you know, they spoiled it. Yeah. I allowed it to spoil yes. it in my life. Amen. Listen, Lord. Appreciate you, Chris. Amen. Amen. Appreciate the gospel. Amen. Hey, it's the power of God to salvation. Amen. 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 The gospel is what feeds my soul. Yeah. It'll tire his soul outward. Outward man up. Yeah. Yeah. He won't like it. Yeah. I'll tell you an inward man. Yeah. He'll thrive on He'll grow with it. He'll grow with it.
Appreciate it, Chris. Yes. Be careful. We got to be careful. There's a lot of lost people depending on the church. That's right. They still got to come through and buy the old mother church. They have to. Or there'll be no hope for them. That's right. I hope I'm one of the few when he comes back.
gotta, I gotta say it. Um, God got a hold of me this morning, and I got home today, and I was by myself all day, just me and the Lord, and a couple of cats. And I, I'm telling you, like I couldn't get here fast enough tonight. I, I wanted God just to have it right then, but but I had to wait to get here. But yeah, I've been where those foxes, the big ones, the little foxes, those vines. I've probably been with those vines and messing vines up and threw them out in my life. I've been, I've been everywhere. But I tell you, as a 12-year-old boy in Mount Baptist Church, in the middle of a revival, God got a hold of me. And he was with me Saturday night, all hours of the night, kept me up, kept me looking and searching and wondering what to do. And Sunday morning, couldn't get there fast enough. I'll run up under the altar to get it. I didn't have to, but that's just where he was at, and that's where he wanted me to go. And I'm so thankful for this little church family that I've got. And I'm, I'm, I, I falter daily. I know I do with everybody does, but I got, I got battles going on right now, and only God knows about it. But I'm so thankful to be here. I'm so thankful for you all. And if, if you're out there and you are lost, you better, you better. You better heed the warning. You better listen to the Amen. Thank you for the message. Follow me. I'll make you worthy. Crowds and follow me. I'll make you fishers of me. Glad you come out tonight. Yeah, I thank you.